Hey, you folks, this is Udan. I just want to tell you about how to stick animation onto a control. You can be anything, right? You can get the menu bar to move to any position you want. You can get the add ons to sing and dance. Yeah, you can get the widgets to sing and dance. Yeah, just by clicking on a button. Yeah, just show you what I mean. Home screen options. And, come on. Yeah, yeah, my flow buttons. Right, let's just move them around. It's up here now. I've got a choice of where I want them. I can have them. I've selected to have them in either corner. Yeah. So they can go in either corner. Right. But the animation can be anything. It doesn't need to be a slide. That's how I've moved them. Yeah. I've just put a slide effect on the floor buttons. Yeah. But the wall. But you've got a setting. Yeah. And it's dead easy to do, man. And how do you do it? Well, if you see this one, the background transparency. Yeah, it's not even that one in my area, I think. Hang on. A minute. It's this one I use. Mm. Oh yeah, there's the background transparency. Yeah. Yeah, it's background transparency. So you find that code in the in the XMLs. Ah, uh, this is it. See this? That's how you get your transparency. That's the setting for the transparency. Right? Now if you follow home trans and home trans pattern value, you'll come to these. Uh, there's the transparent value. Right? All I've done is copy. Copy. See, th this one's my floor buttons. I've just copied it. I've only done three. That one's got six. Yeah, I've just fiddled about with some of the labels and that. Yeah. Well, it's exactly the same. Right? Same. I've just changed the way uh, the strings pole. Yeah. Strings pole 601. So it says nothing. Right. And the other one, the 257, is default. Skin default. No way it says skin default. Yeah. Uh, let's get back. But the includes. Right? Let's go to the home transparent. If you see the home transparent, it's just a fade effect. Right? And there, there they are where you've got your 10%, your 20%. Right? All I've done is copied it, applied a different effect. Right? And that's all you do, you just copy and tinker with that. Dead easy, dead easy it is. And you can do all kinds of magic. You can apply rotates, fades and slides where you can reposition. They're good, they're good. And you can do it to anything, any element. You know, the widget set, the add-on set. You can even do the clock and the time. I've already done the floor buttons there. Dead easy. Dead easy. And you've got choices. That's the good thing about it. You can choose. Rather than just having the one option. Yeah. Uh, let's rotate this. 
That's the wrong that is not going on three because it's a bit more pronounced. Yep, see the measure. And it's on a button certain to have or to have not. Well then. Very easy. And you can do the same for the the add-on set. Dead easy, dead easy. Well, you can sync it with any animation, and you know what animations are like. You can use multiple animations yeah, on the one effect. So you can get them to sing and dance. They're good, dead easy. I'll just show you the code. Right? You only really need Sting's Pulp, Skin Settings to copy that uh, setting. Include variables, and you copy that setting. In the Includes, you copy that setting. Well, that control. Yeah. And the thing you put, you need to. Uh, You need to stick a line, a code, into the control you wish to change, and that's it. Yeah. See, it's that one. That's for the, the transparency effect. And I'll just tink it. And that's my version of that. Yeah. Very easy. And you can get all your effects you want with a click of a button. You can move stuff around, resize stuff, put rotates, and all kinds. It is my fade. Now I'll just do one of each and you can see. The differences. Do that bit more pronounced so you can you can see how it's working. You can even do the menu bar. The menu bar can have a animations on it as well. See there's a fade and a rotate and it's moved moved it up the near me. The add on says with a fade on as well and there's my floor buttons moved to the other corner. But the builders and the people who like to think uh, with layouts this will be useful. Yeah. So you tinker with the background transparency set. And from that you can tinker to apply an effect, an animation onto any control. Any control. Dead easy, they're good. So let's go on out of this. Set these back. I've only done three positions on most of them. No three options. Not like that. I'm gonna stick all this into my master mod. So I have more stuff to do. That's it. This is who done. Till next time.